Quiet, please. Thanks, patient. I just know. Oh, oh. Oh. Lord, uh, Dr. Ellingham, here. Yes, <clears throat> thank you. Um, goodness. <sighs> I'll come over in the morning and cover. Oh, no. You've got the most beautiful buildings at Port Isaac, and you use the exteriors for those, and yet you've gone to all the trouble to recreate the interiors inside this barn. And yet the rooms inside there are probably no bigger than the ones in the houses in Port Isaac. <sighs> Why do you go to so much trouble? You, uh... You could fit the whole house in one of those rooms in that set. It um, just means you can move cameras around and you can do things differently. We can take walls out so that you can put a nice lens on a camera and get far away. Um, it just gives you versatility. It gives us somewhere to hide when the crowds are in or when the weather's bad. But we filmed in lots of the houses in Port Isaac, but just not... Oh, you know, first season we did film a tiny bit inside the house that is the real doc surgery, but we rapidly learnt that you need a studio. Now, your character, Doc Martin, is an absolute total bugger. You, uh, you, you listed all his bad qualities in the beginning of season seven. I was an unwanted child. I failed to develop a normal attachment to my parents, resulting in an inability to form adult relationships. I exhibit poor communication skills. I have unrealistic expectations of others and a blood phobia. You will diagnose attachment disorder. Now, you've been with this character for a long while. What is it about him that you can actually admire? Oh, boy, loads. Um, I love his, his encyclopedic knowledge of medicine um, and his curiosity and his passion for his subject uh, and his just all-round dexterous ability with a scalpel and, um, you know, everything the doc does right is, is what you want from a man in a suit. What are you afraid of, Martin? I'm losing her. What would you like to be different? For my wife to be happy. Not for both of you to be happy? I think happiness is overrated.